Welcome back to Wigs Gaming. Today is the final worst Pokemon of every generation video. Now there has been a highly requested uh, best Pokemon of every generation that I'm thinking about doing but I'm not 100% sure on. Tune in tomorrow same time and you'll find out. I think that personally Fairy is going to be a lot easier because there's only so many fairy types until generation six. Obviously, they went back and added it to a bunch, so like we have some options here, but I'm going to be interested in seeing how this one goes. Now, let's go ahead and get started with generation one. Now, generation one, guys. Generation one. Obviously, all these Pokemon used to be normal, and Mr. Mine was a psychic type. And still is. I think it's fairy psychic now. When I think about Generation 1 Pokemon and how some of these... Obviously, the Fairy type made all these Pokemon better. This is hard for me to make a decision on because Clefairy and Clefable are actually very good. And I really like Jigglypuff and Wigglytuff. And Mr. Mime is pretty good. The thing is, is that I have to go with Jigglypuff. I don't want to because I actually, in using these in games, these are actually pretty strong Pokemon. I've had a lot of good success using them, but it is the worst fairy type. That's all you can really say. And then this here with Gen 6 gave a bunch of baby forms. I did not know they gave Snubble and Granbull fairy type. What? That's cool. I didn't know that. I did not know that. Well, if I'm going to pick a worst fairy type, it has to be Igglybuff in that case. I don't want to have to do it that way because then I'm just giving a baby Pokemon and I'm being too logical. Sometimes you guys want me to be logical. Like there was one video where you guys kept saying, how come you didn't pick Chingling? How come you didn't pick Chingling? It's a baby Pokemon. I don't always want to be 100% logical and talk about the stats. I also want to talk about what this Pokemon gives you, which is why if it evolves, it has better potential. That's kind of really what I'm looking for in that case. This can evolve all the way into a Wigglytuff, but this becomes a Clefable. This becomes a Togekiss, or a Togetic. This becomes an Azumarill, and then these two are really good. So I have no choice at this point. Gen 3. Hey, hey there you are. If you didn't watch our Steel Types video, go back and watch it. You'll get the reference, all right? I don't need to speak about Mawile anymore, man. I've spent way too much time on it. Way too much time. And this is another one where it like has to be Mime Jr. It's like, yes, it can go all the way to a Mr. Mime, but Togekiss is a better Pokemon. So I have to go Mime Jr. This video is probably going to be really fast because this is, again, there's not a lot of fairy types. Oh, I wonder which one I pick. I have no idea, guys, which one was I supposed to pick. Here's some fairy types, guys. Here are some fairy types. Okay, so we've obviously got a couple of options here. Uh, we've got, obviously, some Megas. I'm going to ignore those. We've got Flabebe, Floet, and Florgus. We've got... Uh, Spritzel and Slurpuff. Uh, that's Slurpuff. That is Aromatus. That's Slurpuff. I don't know, remember your name. Sylveon, Dedenne, Carbink, Klefki. And then Deancey and Xerneas. So, I think this answer, honestly, when I look at everything, and I'm not going Mega Mawile this time, I'm going Dedenne. Dedenne, again, is a likable Pokemon with good qualities. It's still bad. Okay? I understand. I probably have picked every Pikachu clone at this point. I'm not stopping now. Generation 7. Ooh. What do we go with here? I think I'm tied up between two. No, I'm not. It's Comfey. Comfey, again, is another interesting design. It's very similar to Klefki in the fact that it's something that possessed its favorite thing. So Klefki possessed a set of keys, and then Comfey uh, possessed a lei because the region is from Hawaii, which is kind of cool. But Comfey is just not a very good Pokemon, period. It's really not. I just looked at the recording, and I'm five minutes in, and we're almost done. What are we going to do, man? we got to make the video a little bit longer. Generation 8. Wow. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't know, man. I don't know. Because I really like Impidimp because it evolves all the way to Grimmsnarl. Um, I like um, Hatterini. I like Galarian Rapidash and Galarian uh, uh, 
uh, Weezing. This is hard. I think if it were me, I would definitely pick Zossi. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm 100% going to go with Impidimp. I don't want to because I actually really like the Pokemon. I think it's really unique. I like the fact that it's fairy and dark. I think that's super cool. It is not very bulky, though. It dies really, really fast. So as much as I really like the Pokemon, I just don't think it's going to give us what we're looking for, unfortunately. Generation 9. I used a Doxbun in my first run through. But you cannot compare Doxbun to Paradox Pokemon or to Tinkaton. And as much as I really like this Pokemon and how, excuse me, and how bulky it is, it's just not very strong from an attacking standpoint. And Brute Bonnet and Screamtail are just way better. That's not Brute Bonnet. That is Fluttermane. And so because of that, I have no choice but to go with Doxbun. And I wish I didn't have to. I really wish I didn't have to. I love its design. It's super bulky. It does decent damage. It's just not the best. So I didn't want to have to do it, but I did. Guys, I wonder what the worst fairy type is. Do you have any idea? No? Gee, I have no idea. I had no idea that was going to be the case. I had no idea that that's one of the worst. Is this the worst Pokemon they've ever created? Is it? It, it might be, man. It might be. I tell you what, let's pick our let's pick the worst starters while we're at it. All right, I'm gonna go quick though. I'm gonna give two or three word examples on why these are the worst starter Pokemon. Okay, let's start with Generation One, obviously because it's an Eevee. Okay, Generation Two is Cyndaquil because Bayleaf and Meganium are bulky. They're not attack heavy, and no one as a kid playing Generation Two wants that. They want this one or they want this one. Generation Three, the worst starter is act. Oh, this is hard. It is Blaziken. No, it's not. It realistically, the worst starter is probably Sceptile because it's a physical grass type. But I actually like I actually like like it more than I like Blaziken and more than I like Swampert. But it is what it is. The worst generation four starter is probably Empoleon. Uh, Water and Steel is pretty cool, but uh, it doesn't have that much attack. Generation five. What did you think when you made Superior? It's just another. It's just a snake. Uh, generation six. I love Greninja. This one Chestnut. They messed up on big time. Generation seven. It's gonna go to most likely uh pre marina not for any specific reason but it is going to be what it's going to be generation eight it is very obviously inteleon cool pokemon but not as good as the other two generation nine it has to go to meowth garda and the worst one of the worst is definitely eevee thank you so much for watching the video guys if you enjoyed it make sure that you subscribe i do not want you to miss out what i will be sure of is that there potentially might be a best of series i'll see i'll record a couple and i'll see if i like it and then i'll put it up if that's the case you will see it this time tomorrow so don't miss out thanks for thanks for being here and subscribe so you don't miss out